Hey Tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So it is the last weekend of April. Today is Saturday, which means it was opening Stormville. Stormville is one of the um, first flea markets, kind of the first flea market I go to every year locally. When I'm out in Pennsylvania near my son's place, I go to some of uh, his flea markets, but I don't live there, so, you know, that's kind of catch one, catch as one can catch, right, when I'm visiting. Um, anyway, Stormville, normally the first one. I spent like 20 bucks, uh, needed a set of these. Um, these are drill bits, eighth inch, double-sided. Um, fuel turnoffs you know alligator jumper leads um, these are for a Dremel for doing some fine work and shrink tubing three bundles of shrink, shrink tubing so I spent 20 bucks on that didn't spend a lot of money didn't really want to um, because as I said today is kind of the kickoff of flea market season uh, next way next week is the Rhinebeck car show and the week after that is an auction, old time machinery. And I think, I think that's up in, uh, I don't know if they're calling that particular spot, Kinderhook or Germantown. So I covered Stormville. When I go through Stormville, Stormville's big. It's an old airport. And as a matter of fact, for anybody who wants to get there, you might want to check out the website. I'm being told this is the last year of Stormville, that maybe next year too. And the reason is um, around me, property values are back up there and somebody wants to develop the land. And there's two competing things going on, supposedly. They're thinking of doing something uh, with the land commercially as some kind of auto auction type of thing. Um, and the other thing I've heard is that they were talking about putting condos on it. Given that it's right next to um, Greenhaven, which is a state prison here in New York, I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to work out for sales, but, y you know, there it is. Um, but typically, given that it's a, f a big flea market and just some flea market preps while I got the camera spinning let me go through them this is something I bought a while ago it's meant to carry Ryobi tools it's basically a box on wheels very very helpful for if you go in the flea markets as you're bumping along and so forth um, when I go to a flea market I'm I'm serious I want to be out there I want to get my stuff and, and all that other other good stuff um, a lot of flea markets depending you got to know the personality of the flea market but like if you go to Williams Grove out in Pennsylvania there are people who say if you get there after the Sun comes up you're late so you, you know just picture if you're getting there at 10 11 12 o'clock I've already walked through with my flashlight so if it's been a great deal you know I bought it. Um, obviously, having something to drink is not a bad idea at a flea market, right? If you're bringing a truck, you're going to rope stuff to your roof. You should have some rope for it. Um, chain and locks. Not, not a bad idea. I carry it in here. I did not chain up the golf cart when I brought it home I didn't think anybody was gonna was gonna try to take it off my truck I didn't think they were gonna undo the ropes so that it would just roll off the back as I tried to get through an intersection or something um, so y you know not a bad idea the um, last loop of rope you put on something you know not, not a bad idea to chain it to chain it up um, lock it up once again, it all depends on the flea market, what you're trying to buy. If I'm trying to move quickly, I typically throw a pack over my shoulder. Um, if I'm wheeling this thing, a lot of times I'll bring along the pack just so that I can put things into it and kind of put it on the bottom of this so I don't have to worry about it falling out. 
The openings on this thing are relatively small. Um, like, I don't think any of this stuff would fall out, but you paid for it. Why would you let it fall out? About getting to a flea market early, like the Rhinebeck car show. You guys go to, some of you guys go to car shows. This wrist thing, a friend of mine gave it to me who sets up there. Um, that, that allows me to get in with the, um, with the sellers, right? You know, typically I go in, I help him position his trailer, and then I'm loose. Then I can, could roam around and go buying. But um, the earlier you could get in, the better. And remember, if you're going up to Rhinebeck and you want that elusive Honda ATC, you know, 200, well, I'm in there <laughs> with the vendors buying it. So, you, you know, you got to get in as early as you can. Does it mean I'm going to get it? No, not necessarily, because I could be in there and I could have gone by at 8 o'clock and the guy didn't take it off the truck until 9 o'clock, right? So, you know, but still and all, I do like to get in early. Um, not a bad idea to bring a pencil and a piece of paper. Um, once again, for the big shows, um, y you know, you get that honda ct70 that's in mint shape for 50 bucks and you know you don't want to leave it at the guy's spot or, or you don't want to leave it in your truck right because uh, on your truck because somebody will take that they'll cut a chain to take that um so what you do is you try to make make a, a deal with the guy to you know perhaps chain it to his spot somewhere until you can um you can pick it up and put it in in um, your truck always good to uh to have a piece of paper to write down a receipt get the guy's plate number and all that other kind of stuff so, so uh you don't get the grand surprise when you go back for it and it's not there sometimes i not only bring the box but i um bring the dolly um I'm going to say in the olden days, if you go back a few years before, I was able to get, you know, Predator engines for a hundred bucks, all I want, brand new, ready to go from Harbor Freight. And before I dug up a whole horde of Honda engines, you know, ready to go all over, um, you know, you pick up a dolly like this, uh, a necessity for moving the uh, heavier items. Um, I... I, I take it along. I mean, obviously, don't take it along if you're not going to put air in the tires or if the tires don't hold air, because then it's just going to be in the way. I mean, if you're going to bring the dolly or the cart, you know, make sure the carter pins aren't about to fall out. You know, dumb, dumb little things. They go under the land of maintenance. Um, it's always best, as you're doing this, to have your truck, like I have an extended cab, like if it's three quarters full of stuff, not the best idea. It's better to get it nice and empty. Um, I have more stuff in there than there should be for going to the flea market. But even for this, like I carry, you know, plastic, an umbrella, a blanket, you, you know, an extra sweatshirt, stuff, stuff that... Just in case you're there and there's a you know a quick rain shower or something, you can uh, you can be out uh, rummaging without freezing. So um, once again, Stormville, I didn't do great. I figured I would let some some of you guys know what I'm hearing about Stormville. Um, Pat took money for this year, so. They anticipate it being opened for, for the entire year, right? If people paid for a year's worth of spot, they would anticipate being there for the year worth of spot. Um, whatever they decide to do with it has to get through town approvals. So it's still, you know, it's probably going to be open this year. Pro you, you know, maybe next year, possibly the year after. But, you know, like all these flea markets, they're coming to a close. I had friends tell me that a big hunk of uh, English Town um, 
a big hunk of the English Town property along the front there is no longer a flea market. If you're familiar with Rhinebeck, as you go in, they have a big building you kind of walk through now. Well, that's a bunch of uh, spots for the car show that are no longer. You know, um, a lot of these, these flea markets, the people that are running them, are getting older and a lot of times the, um, the, the, the land becomes very valuable and uh, other people want to take it. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching and commenting and subscribing. If you like this, please let me know. If you have any suggestions, please add them to the bottom. Remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.